Hello and welcome to another episode of Nuts and Bolts Review, everybody. So today it's a little different. It's a DIY kind of cool thing you can do for yourself or your kids. Now that I built my kid one, I want one for myself. Um, <clears throat> but you can buy most of the supplies off Amazon. And I will include those in the link below for you. The only exception is you have to buy these at a local hardware store. <clears throat> and what these are, they're like uh, trim pieces. They're one and a half inch wide by a uh, half inch thick. And I bought two lengths of eight feet to fill this. And of course I have some left over. But if you're gonna do this and you're gonna do it comfortably um, with a 24 inch wheel, uh, which will be in the description below, you're gonna wanna buy two of these just so you, you have enough, obviously. And then another thing that I got, got off Amazon, which I'll include for you guys, is the LED strip. So this is nice because it is a little battery box of uh, four AA batteries. And I think you can just plug it into the wall. I have one under the counter that you could plug into the wall. But these shelving um, units keep the LED light in there. And then what I did up here is I just used three zip ties that you don't even notice are there just to hold the top portion on and my son absolutely loves this thing he is two and a half years old and he thinks it is the coolest thing since sliced bread <laughs> if that if that makes sense for a two and a half year old um, but just to get the point across that he absolutely loves this thing um, and yeah it's super easy to do I used little um, hobby screws which again I will put in the description for you guys uh, I think these were 13 bucks, maybe 15 bucks around there. This was 13 bucks and the tire was 35 bucks. You could use any tire. You don't necessarily have to buy one off Amazon. Um, but I did the, this was 35 bucks. It's a Schwinn and it does come kind of deformed. So I tried my best to deform it. I still can go a step further, which I think I will. And I just used a normal um, picture hanging, you know, bracket and I screwed it into the uh, bottom of that guy. You can see the nail there. So it's about right here. And I just used one and this is the outcome. It's actually pretty nice. You could use anything. Um, fade, strobe, flash, or you could set it to any color you want. It's a very cool wall piece and it takes, you know, probably less than two hours of your time and you get such a cool product out of it. I'm probably gonna have to make another one because my son has lots of Hot Wheels, as you can tell, and he absolutely loves them. So I think it's an awesome DIY project. Um, most of the stuff you can go to get on Amazon and you can cut the costs significantly. It cost me around $60 Canadian. But if you have a bike tire laying around or you can get one off, you know, a junky bike or, or what have you, you could save, you know, half the cost just from that. So, um, yeah, for 30 bucks, you could you could do something like this. Um, obviously, if you have screws laying around, etc., etc., it could be even less. But that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks for following along. And uh, if you want to do something like this, I highly recommend it. It's... Uh, the end product is is super awesome. And of course, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.